All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. And today's lesson is entitled Paradise. And what you're seeing on the screen is, uh, uh, I guess it's some type of relaxation music that I recently subscribed to. And I noticed that they have like beautiful images, you know, of what our power made. You know, our power as the Israelites is uh, Yahweh Mahashim Yahweh man. When you eagerly call God and his, and his son, man, Yahweh Shai. It's Yahweh is the almighty power, and Yahweh Shai is the son who was given the, bru the blueprint, actually, in, in creating all of these things you see. You know. But, um, what I had done is, uh, typed in uh, the word paradise and, um, and it gave me uh, a lot of Bible verses and uh, I think it was approximately uh, it's not showing exactly how many it doesn't have a title but it looks like uh, maybe about 10 Bible verses that you know we're gonna get into a few of those and the reason I wanted to come up and uh, go in on this um, this uh, the title that I come up with through the spirit was because you know through all of the turmoil the oppression and mainly the confusion that's going on here in Babylon you know it's just like so much that you can make a lesson on with all the uh, you know all of the confusion that Babylon has going on with the uh, you know with the Maxine and you know uh, the coming of you know uh, you know the implement of the chip the microchip, uh, which is the mark of the beast. And, you know, what better thing to do than to make a video about, you know, the, the thing that we truly want. And that's paradise, man. When I say we, talking about the oppressed you know the so called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans you know we are truly you know uh, you know the poor that the Bible speaks of the meek you know made to be righteous but you know two thirds of our people you know they have uh, took on the ways of the wicked but what other uh, way to you know um, you know to look forward to uh, something than to you know make a video about a paradise so let's get into the first precept this is the book of Luke. Uh, let me get it out of. Uh, let me get it out of my uh, my book. Uh, the scriptures. Uh, now, actually, I had you know uh, pull these scriptures up, you know, online. But we're gonna try to get in. We're gonna try to pull some of them. Out of the actual book. It says, this is, uh, the first precept is Luke 23. And uh, it says 43, I believe. 
but we're going to probably jump a few uh, verses up. Okay. So we have Luke 23 and... Uh, it says 43. So let's start at... start at 40 let's start at well wait a minute yeah here it is we jump right there 23 and 43 I'm sorry uh, that says uh It says, uh, let's start at 41. It's Luke 23 and 41. It said, and, and we indeed justly for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man had done nothing amiss. And this is, and you know, this is dealing with the, uh, uh, the hanging of our Lord, uh, the crucifix. Being crucified, and uh, verse twenty forty two it says, uh, and he said unto Yahweh, Lord, remember me when thou comest in thy kingdom. And Yahweh said unto him, Verily I say unto you, unto Zalaki, Verily I say unto thee, Today shall thou be with me in paradise. And this is going into, you know. Yeah, I was shot getting crucified and and one of the, the other men that was, you know, being crucified with Yahweh was shot, you know, wanted to take on, I believe it was him being crucified and, you know, he wanted to do it, be crucified instead of, you know, Yahweh was shot being crucified. So that's, you know, that's Yahweh Shai uh, replied that, you know, that he would be in paradise with him, man. So you know this had to have been, a, you know, one of the other Jews or Israelite, you know, so you can understand. So uh, let's go to another precept. This is uh, First Corinthians. It's been a while since I read that one. But you can go into it. Like I said, it was, uh, that was uh, Luke 23. Uh, but this next precept is uh, 1 Corinthians 2. And verse 9, it says, uh, It says, But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the hearts of men the things which the Most High have prepared for them that love Him. See? And who loves the Most High? Or who loves Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai? You know, the men out that's, that's uh, doing the work, man. You know, with and being sincere, you know. Okay, and that's, that's a beautiful scripture, man. You know, that's one of my favorites right there, man. You know, uh, so it has a precept. Uh, I think it's, it says Isaiah sixty-four. Uh, let's see what it, what it says. Isaiah sixty-four. down to the next precept is uh, Revelation chapter 21 and verse uh, 4 and it says uh, 
It says, uh, and the Most High shall wipe away, wipe away all tears from their eyes. And who is that? You know, it's talking about the elect. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. You know, and that's that's the ultimate paradise, man. You see? That's the ultimate para paradise, man. Um, now it has uh, the next precept. It's, it's pretty much it's still uh, Revelations uh, 21 and 1 down to 27. So, you know, uh, you can read that if you'd like. Uh, we're going to go to Revelations chapter we're trying not to make this too long. Uh, Revelation chapter 2. And verse 7. Okay. Two and 7. And it says, um, He that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit say unto the churches. The churches, the churches is the, you know, Asia Minor, and uh, the rest of the churches. Uh, it says to him, the overcometh will I give to eat of that tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of the Most High, man. That's beautiful, man. You know, and then churches going into the. Uh, you know, the seven churches of Asia, Asia Minor, you know. And that's, that's beautiful, man. That's, uh, let's get a couple more precepts and we'll be able to end it. Uh, uh, we'll jump. It's another one that says Luke 12. Uh, and uh, 33, I believe it is. And that's pretty long. We'll jump down to Romans 10 and 9. It says, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Yahweh shine, and shalt believe in thy heart that the Most High have raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. You know? You know, and that's, that's going into, uh, you know, confessing, confessing with your mouth. Okay? Confessing with your mouth, you know, and, and your heart, meaning your mind, okay? That's beautiful, and uh, so, you know, we can go on. That's a few more, but, you know, we're going to go ahead and end it right there, man, because, you know, it's, it's so many more that you can get into. You know, this, this, uh, these scriptures are, uh, so one, I'm wanting these scriptures to be something to, you know, um, put you in the right mindset of, you know, something to look forward to, you know, and as well as myself also, you know, to know that we're, the things that we got to go through that's coming, you know, it, it may be a little bit hard, but imagine, like the scriptures say, man, this, hey, it's nothing compared to what we're, you know, uh, gonna see you know so you know I'm hoping this lesson was edifying to you know the brothers you know and a few sisters here and there you know I want to give all praise and honor to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakan Kadash double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth and Shalom to the whole four legs